Good morning, grown up one today. Um, it's gardening season and everybody's wanting their garden to look lovely. And I know that sometimes it can be really hard to do that on a budget. So I wanted to share something I made that is really easy to do. Um, sorry, it's a bit blowy. <laughs> Hair's going over. Um, that I just think it's, well, it's effective, it works, and as I say, it's on a budget and anybody can do it. As much as I'm a, a handy person, seriously it's, it's about screwing bits of wood together so it's great so i'm going to take you off here and i'm going to take you on a walk and i'm going to turn you around and show you my gazebo now i wanted a gazebo um and i tried the metal ones and they were okay but i found they kept breaking every time the wind blew they broke so i decided to build my own which is this wooden structure here now it normally has a piece of fabric over the top but unfortunately the wind is so high today that i've had to take the fabric off because it keeps pulling on the gazebo and i'm worried it's going to pull it down so what i've done is i've taken four lengths of wood and i've popped them in the bottom of a just like a slightly offset in the bottom of a plant pot which has been lined with a plastic bag. Now this is important so that, the plastic, so that the concrete that you're about to pour in doesn't go out through the hole. So, lined with a plastic bag, put a piece of plastic pipe up from the hole straight up, so you will need someone to help you hold it. And then I half filled each one with concrete. Now the piece of plastic is to allow the water to drain off, so that when I then put the soil in, um, it doesn't get waterlogged. So because you've got that piece of plastic pipe that stops at the same height as the concrete, it allows the soil to drain off still. So it means I've managed to put some plants around the bottom, have my frame, which normally has a piece of fabric draped over the top. I've also, I don't know if you can see, I've got some um, little fairy lights here as well, which look quite pretty. Um, and it just works beautifully, and it's a really, really inexpensive way of making a gazebo, so it'll give you shelter. And if you want it to be waterproof, you can um, use tent fabric as well so but i would say um just be really careful when the wind blows because obviously unless you've got a lot more concrete in so if you put bigger plants at the bottom obviously it would withstand more wind but we just wanted fairly small ones because the garden's not huge so that's today's tutorial <laughs> 